what's up guys? Today we are going to be decorating our tiered tray for spring and Easter. So I am going to be adding some decorations and turning them into a snack station. If you're new here, I just wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're a returning subscriber, I just wanna say how much I appreciate you. And I am glad you came back again today. My channel is all about homemaking and basically anything mom life. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. I have a bunch of really fun, spring and summer videos planned, cleaning motivation, decorating, seasonal recipes. You are not going to want to miss any of those. My kids are more than ready for me to get the snack station up. They've been drooling over these goodies. Let's get decorating. I'm just going to start by adding some of this Easter grass that I found at the Goodwill outlet to the bottom of my tiered tray. And then I'm going to just play around with it. I have a bunch of different decor I want to try out and see what looks the best. Usually it takes me a little while to see what I like. I play around with it and try different combinations and color schemes until I land on something I really like. This is one of the treats that my kids saw and they are so excited to try them. I got three different colors of peeps. I'm just going to alternate between the colors and I think it's going to make a really cute decoration as well as a delicious tree. The airtight container is going to keep these peeps nice and soft and fluffy. Peep, 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 peep. I decided that I wanted to actually fill a ramekin with some Easter grass and put the chocolate eggs in there so it kind of looked like a nest. This grass ended up being a little too long. I got a couple different types of grass when I went to the Goodwill outlet and I'm glad I did because this shorter Easter grass ended up working much better and looks a lot cuter. I got some Reese's peanut butter eggs. I'm just gonna put those in a mason jar. Next, I am just lining the inside of my mason jar lids with some pastel fabric that I had on hand. I got this tiered tray off of Amazon. I will link that in the description. I will also link everything else I can in the description. If you're curious about something that I did not link, comment below and I will either find a link for you or let you know where I got it. got these little craft eggs and carrots at I believe it was Hobby Lobby it was either Hobby Lobby or the dollar store I think it was Hobby Lobby though and I ended up going with the carrots and just hot gluing them to the top of the fabric and they turned out so cute I absolutely love these little carrots they're so fun to decorate with removing about half the 
Easter grass because it was a little bit too fluffy and once I did the decorations sat in there a lot better and then you can read my cute little sign that says bunny kisses and Easter wishes. <laughs> I got these little flowers from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of cut them apart a little bit so that they weren't a giant bunch and I could spread them throughout the tiered tray. I think it worked out really well. That's something I really like doing is breaking up flower bundles because it makes it go way further and then you can do your own flower arrangement. So what I'm doing is just kind of playing around with it, experimenting, seeing what looks good, what colors go well together. I definitely know I want to keep the green Easter grass, so I'm kind of basing my design off of the Easter grass and what matches that. Decorating can be a process and it is just really fun to let your creativity flow. So I encourage you just to play around with it and have a little fun. When I was a kid, probably about my daughter Ashlyn's age, my mom ran a daycare and my best friend at the time would call me Jelly Bean or Jelly Belly. So I kind of grew up with the nickname Jelly Bean and Jelly Belly. Put the peeps out here, my chocolate egg nest. I'm just gonna put some Easter grass in my lantern and kind of play around with this one. I'm gonna try seeing what these eggs look like. Wipe it off a little bit. With that many eggs, you couldn't even see the Easter grass, so it was definitely a little bit too much. I add these little chicks in there, and I actually ended up really liking this because it was like their cute little protective nest. The sign says, I love you more than jelly beans. got these flowers at Home Goods, and then I found this carrot that looks pretty realistic. I absolutely love it. I got this at a garage sale last summer for I think 25 cents. It's so cute. I love decorating with garlands. If you've seen any of my other decorating videos, you know I absolutely love them and think they are one of the best, most inexpensive ways to add color and that extra little touch of the season. This garland I got at Hobby Lobby and I actually ended up tying two of them together because they weren't quite long enough for the area and I like them to hang down a little bit. I think it looks better like that. So, so if your garland it's not quite long enough you can always tie two of them together and then hide the tie behind one of the shapes it looked absolutely flawless I got this cute little happy Easter sign from the Dollar Tree Kisses and Easter wishes. 
But these are white chocolate covered almonds, Easter M&Ms, and of course, Reese's chocolate eggs. Chocolate eggs. Jelly beans. Oh, I love these flowers. I got these at home because they're so gorgeous and bright. My little baby chick, so cute. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of our spring and Easter tiered tray snack station. It was so fun to make and I know my kids and my hubby are going to love it. This is one of my favorite things to do for the holidays. My kids have been looking forward to this one since the St. Patrick's one was completely wiped out. So I can't wait for everybody to see it tonight. If you like the video, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot and lets me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in seeing. If you are new here, I just wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you are coming back, I just wanna say thanks for hanging out with us again. I'm so glad you're back. I make videos about homemaking, cleaning motivation, seasonal recipes, all that good stuff. So if that is something you're into, definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because I have some really cool stuff planned for you guys. You want a marshmallow? Call it Pete. You want a Pete? You want a Pete? Pete? Before you leave today, check out some of my other videos on my channel, and I hope to see you back again soon. Ugh. From my family to yours, happy spring and Easter. The sun is coming back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you again. I hope your week is filled with love, happiness, and fun.